In a recent video, we busted the myth that sugar will destroy an engine. By the same token, it left quite a bit of contamination inside this engine. By the time the test was over, the engine was running very poorly. It was smoking, it was starting to miss a little bit, and altogether, the, there's a lot of sugar contamination that needs cleaned up. So I'd like to thank the hundreds of people that provided comments on how to clean up this mess. We're going to take an approach using water to clean the fuel tank. Additionally, what I'm going to do is use sea foam. A lot of folks recommended sea foam. In fact, that was by far the most recommended product to deal with the carbon that's inside the combustion chamber. Um, according to the commenters, a byproduct of sugar, of course, is carbon. And so this is an excellent product for cleaning up carbon. So we're going to use sea foam in both the fuel tank as well as the uh, running it through the carburetor. Additionally, I'm going to add a little bit to the oil. I, so I'll be using a triple sea foam approach today. Anyway, this is going to be an interesting uh, effort to see if we can clean up this sugar contamination. Hot water dissolves sugar better than cold water does. So what I've done is I've blocked off this fuel line and I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot water to the fuel tank. I just finished microwaving this water. As you can see it's pretty hot. What I'm gonna do is just sort of shake this around a little bit. Let's see how the water flows through this filter, see if it's any better. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I feel pretty confident I got the sugar out of the gas tank and the fuel filter, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some compressed air just to go ahead and blow everything out real good. So the seafoam instructions say to add one ounce of seafoam per gallon. I'm going to add a little bit more than that just because I want to get a really thorough clean. And so I'm going to go ahead and add 20 ounces of fuel. And I'm going to add just around one ounce of seafoam for the 20 ounces of fuel. So again, this is about, this is about five times as much uh, concentration of seafoam as it's supposed to have. But the engine should run just fine. Okay, this is roughly one ounce of sea foam. All I'm gonna do is just sort of swirl it around a little bit and then I'm gonna add it to the fuel tank. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the gas and the sea foam to the tank. So we've already added the, the gas with the sea foam in it to the tank. Now what I wanna do is set this up so I can add the sea foam. Basically, this is a, the same thing as a medical IV, so we're gonna literally give this engine an IV drip of sea foam. And um, I could use a spray can, but really what I like better about this than the spray can is this allows me to meter the right amount of sea foam so the engine doesn't stall and it just provides a consistent flow, which to me provides the best clean. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and add eight ounces of sea foam So I went ahead and used up all the fuel in the fuel tank because I wanted to run the sea foam that was in the fuel through the carburetor and through the um, engine just to make sure it provides maximum cleaning effect. 
So what I'm going to do now is put some more gas in, just gas, and I'm also going to add about a half of an ounce of sea foam to the oil to, um, before I do an oil change. Okay, I've got top dead center, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the sea foam. This is what we call hot soaking an engine. It's literally boiling inside the engine. This boiling action should help work loose a lot of that buildup. So what we're going to do is just let this hot soak like this for the next 20 to 30 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and get it started and see. Anytime you hot soak an engine, it's always best to change the oil after you've done the hot soak. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, if there's one thing I learned from this project, it's that I never want to have to deal with sugar contamination again. Sugar contamination left a huge mess to clean up. This was a small engine, so it was a lot uh, less of an issue than had this been a modern automobile. Many of you have commented on your experiences of sugar contamination in a modern automobile, which included everything from having to drop the fuel tank to all the way uh, going through the fuel system and replacing the fuel injectors, the fuel pump, and the fuel filter, which is a lot of money and a lot of effort in most cases. But you guys recommended I use sea foam and water to clean up this mess, and I did just that. I could have used other products, but I did what you guys recommended. So I'd like to hear your thoughts though. Do you think sea foam and water did a good job cleaning up the sugar contamination? Do you think there was something else that would have worked better? If you could please leave those comments, I'd appreciate it. I try to respond to as many comments as I can and I enjoy reading your comments. I learn a lot from them. If you enjoy getting notified when I publish these videos, you might consider subscribing. I don't know how it works if you're not a subscriber. I don't know if you get notified or not. But I think if you're a subscriber, I think you do get notified. But uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this video, and I have a lot more very interesting videos coming up. So between now and then, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time.